Ladies and gentlemen, what a week for women. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> History has been made. That's right, after months of anticipation, JoJo has cut it down to just two remaining bachelors. <laughs> These are exciting times we're living in. Oh, and also, Hillary Clinton received the Democratic nomination. <laughs> that as well. Did you see it last night? It, was a, it, it truly was, it really was a historic evening. Hillary Clinton broke the glass ceiling, and just in case that point was lost on you, here's how she appeared at the convention after getting the nomination. This is real. <laughs> I mean, that makes a lot of sense. It does. Like, <laughs> with Trump so close to the presidency, Hillary just became the largest break glass in case of emergency ever. <laughs> but, uh... Hillary Clinton broke the glass ceiling, but Donald Trump has vowed that when he's president, he will replace it with a reinforced titanium steel ceiling... <laughs> ..and that women are gonna pay for it. But one of the big speakers of the night was Bill Clinton. Bill spent 45 minutes explaining why Hillary is the best candidate, because on a night when the first woman is nominated to take the highest office in the land, what you want is for her husband to spend 45 minutes mansplaining <laughs> why you should vote for her. <laughs> but really, it was an amazing speech. He told the story of his marriage with Hillary, and he even had time to mention the Police Academy film series. The truth is, we rarely disagreed on parenting, although she did believe that I had gone a little over the top when I took a couple of days off with Chelsea to watch all six Police Academy movies back to back. That's right, Bill Clinton said he watched all six Police Academy movies with his daughter Chelsea, which got awkward when Chelsea was like, uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> Uh, he, he, he took a few days off to binge watch movies. When George W. Bush saw this, he was like, a few days? I did that for eight years. <laughs> um, but it's got to be hard right now for Donald Trump to be out of the headlines with this DNC happening. So he took care of that this morning by calling on Russia to locate Hillary Clinton's deleted emails. I will tell you this. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. I mean, and the media's really been hitting Trump hard for this comment, and Trump defended himself by looking into the camera and saying, the idea that I've been communicating with the Russians is ridiculous. Also, the falcon is in the nest. Repeat, the falcon <laughs> is in the nest. But from bad to even worse last night, Fox News personality Bill O'Reilly did a short editorial about Michelle Obama's DNC speech where she mentioned that the White House had been built by slaves. In his controversial response, Bill O'Reilly upset a lot of people by suggesting that those slaves didn't have it that bad. Michelle Obama referenced slaves building the White House and referring to the evolution of America. Slaves did participate in the construction of the White House. Slaves that worked there were well fed and had decent lodgings provided by the government. Well, that's an interesting point of view, Bill, and now it's time for my tip of the day. My tip of the day is <laughs> if you're a privileged older white man, Maybe you should not be pointing out the positive aspects of slavery. <laughs> In fact, never do, never ever, 